Hey guys, it's Katie from HeyKatie.net. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> after my um, after my last uh, video, I know I promised you guys I would be more on the ball, update more often, and that I was gonna have a big giveaway. That's still my intention. I actually have um, the giveaway all planned, ready to go. I'm waiting for a couple more things to arrive, and then I'm gonna be doing a massive, massive giveaway, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. Um, but I really did just want to kind of come in and give a quick update um, because a lot of stuff has happened since the last time I made a video, uh, including I found out that I am pregnant. So um, that's kind of a big deal. This is my fourth baby. Um, I'm about 10 and a half weeks along. Uh, I found out it was, it was kind of crazy because... I was on birth control. Um, I was on the Depo Provera shot, which is supposed to be like more effective than condoms. Um, and I was scheduled to go in and get an IUD placed uh, to make sure that my husband and I were safe because I've had three really high risk pregnancies that were very scary and I was in and out of the hospital a lot. I don't do well with pregnancy and we were done. <laughs> we weren't gonna have any more. Um, all of our kids were happy accidents. Um, and after our second one, uh, when I almost bled to death, <laughs> um, my husband was like, no more. And then we <laughs> had our third um, and that pregnancy was absolutely horrible and I was um, it, it was really bad and I had asked my doctor uh, to please uh, get my tubes tied when he was born and she had agreed to do it and then at the last minute she changed her mind and said she wasn't going to do it she wanted me to wait six weeks after he was born and then we had insurance issues and so it just never happened uh, I don't do well on birth control uh, my husband has been wanting to go <laughs> get fixed for a while um, and for whatever reason, we just didn't get around to it. So I finally decided I was going to go get an IUD. And the day I went to get it, my doctor got called away to go do, to deliver, deliver a baby as an OB does. Uh, and her uh, assistant or resident or whatever they're called said, hey, why don't we give you a shot to keep you, you know, okay for the next three months. And because we can't get you in for another 45 days or something. So I let him do it. I got the shot. Um, and it didn't work because now I'm pregnant, um, which is good news. A baby is always good news. Uh, I'm excited. We don't know what it is yet. Obviously it's not far enough long to, to know, but, uh, it's completely changed everything. <laughs> All of our plans have been kind of put to the wayside. I've been really ill. Um, I traveled to Florida a couple of weeks ago for a, a blogging conference and uh, I was really ill the whole time I was there. I didn't really know why. I just put it down to morning sickness. Um, and when I got home, I was I ended up um, having some pretty extreme pain. And I didn't know what it was. It was in the middle of my abdomen, um, right where my uterus is. And so I was really scared because I thought uh, I might be having a miscarriage. Um, luckily, I had my regular scheduled uh, OB appointment for later that morning. So I went there, um, I told her what I was feeling and she also thought I was having a miscarriage even though I wasn't bleeding or anything. Um, the pain that I was in was pretty bad. And so she did an ultrasound and thankfully everything was fine, um, but she was really worried about the pain. So she told me to go to the emergency room, which I didn't. Uh, I didn't want to because I hate going to the hospital. Uh, and I just thought the pain would subside on its own. So I went home, I got in bed, I just laid there for about four or five hours um, until I couldn't stand it anymore. And the pain kind of migrated to my left side and it was just, it was extreme. It was so bad, I couldn't stand up straight. I couldn't get in any comfortable position. I didn't know what was going on and I was really scared. So I called my husband, he came home from work. We gathered the kids up, we went to the emergency room. They did a bunch of tests. They did an ultrasound all over the place. They again saw the baby was okay. Um, and we looked all, they looked all through me. They did blood work and urinalysis and um, they couldn't quite figure out what it was. Uh, their best guess was diverticulitis, uh, which is um, an educated guess because we knew from previous tests that I've had that I had uh, diverticulosis, 
which always gives you the potential to get diverticulitis. Um, so that's what they put it down to. They gave me antibiotics. Um, they weren't the antibiotics that they would normally give for diverticulitis because they're not safe in pregnancy. But um, what they gave me seemed to work after a few days. I went home. I was in the hospital for about a day. Um, it was not a fun experience. Um, and while I was there, they also told me that in the ultrasound and um, blood work that they had discovered I have um, liver disease. So that was unexpected. Um, I don't drink very often. Um, and the, the doctor actually asked me, he said, do you drink? And I said, well, you know, a couple times a year. And he said, ha, huh, not anymore. <laughs> um, so I'm no longer allowed to have wine or alcohol of any sort. Um, I have to get uh, some further tests once the baby arrives. I have to look into this further. Um, liver, fatty liver disease, which is what I have, um, can also be extremely dangerous in pregnancy. So there's a lot of concern there. <laughs> um, so I, I was on bed rest for a while and I've just been, that first trimester exhaustion has been there and I've just been, uh, it's been terrible. Um, so I haven't felt like doing anything. I haven't updated the blog. I haven't updated you know, Instagram or anything. I've just been relaxing and kind of getting through this first trimester. I'm almost done. 10 weeks is, you know, three more weeks and I'm in the second trimester, which will be great. But, uh, oh man, <laughs> it's been a, it's been a doozy. Um, but I wanted to come on here and just make a really quick video. I know I, I ramble, um, but I wanted to make a quick video just to update people because I've been getting lots of comments and um, messages from people asking if I'm okay, asking where I am. I know I've um, talked about some of my depression issues um, on here and you guys have been so supportive and, and kind and I really appreciate that. Uh, the depression hasn't been the issue that's kept me away. It's been the pregnancy and the health issues. Um, but that said, I also, um, in all of my pregnancies, I've struggled with prenatal depression, which is, you know, you hear about postnatal depression when the baby's born, the mom gets depressed. But for me, I always get it, um, at the beginning of pregnancy and I, it's, I can really struggle. Um, in my first one, I self-harmed a lot. Um, in the second one, it wasn't much better. <laughs> um, my last pregnancy, it wasn't that bad. I, w I managed not to self-harm, but I was extremely depressed, um, wouldn't get out of bed and things like that. This one has actually been somewhat okay. I've actually been a lot better. Uh, I don't know why that is. Maybe because, I don't know. <laughs> um, but the biggest thing right now is just making sure I take care of myself, making sure I take care of the baby. Um, my kids, my husband, everybody's convinced it's a girl. I have three boys right now, which is wonderful. I'm a boy mom. I have that identity as a boy mom. Um, and I don't know what I would do if it was a girl. I, I would be really happy, I think, if it was a girl, but I would be happy if it's a boy as well. So I don't know what it's going to be. Um, this pregnancy is different than the rest, but all each of my pregnancies has been different from the previous ones. So <laughs> I can't really take that as any indication. Uh, but um, yeah, so that's the update. In a couple of days, um, I've, I've been dealing, I've been um, liaising with a pretty awesome company who has agreed to help me do a part of this big giveaway that I'm going to do. So I'm waiting for certain things to arrive so I can show you guys. Um, I'm really, really excited. I think you guys will be too. And just give me a few days. I will update as soon as I can, I promise. Um, and in the meanwhile, thank you guys so much for your support and for reaching out to me. I hope you're not too disappointed at how long it's taken me. Um, I really love doing these videos, even if it's just me rambling, even, even if nobody was watching them, I'd still enjoy doing them. Um, I will talk to you guys soon. Uh, I'm gonna try and update the blog. I've got, I've, I've decided I'm gonna do a whole how to start bullet journaling thing because I've had a bunch of friends lately who have asked me um, who have been really interested in bullet journaling and they've started doing it and they're finding it really wonderful um, and they have a million questions and so I've decided I probably should put something together um, I know th I, there's tons of resources out there but why not I'll show you what I do <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try and put together some videos and some posts on the blog about how to get started bullet journaling and how to do it really simply as well as how to do it more um, artistically uh, and in depth and things like that and how to really use it to kind of make your life better. 
So look forward to that. It's all coming soon. I should be out of this first trimester sick, tired phase very soon. Um, and in the meantime, get ready for a big giveaway. It's coming within the week, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, yeah, bye.